Omics is uh, really a, a mix of uh, many different elements, I suppose, in the word mix. It's, it's um, a kind of a, a physical theater, a theater of illusion, a theater where there's ma magical elements. It primarily uses the body to express itself, and, the, and we use a lot of g kinds of simple props to extend the range of uh, the human motion and, and, and extend the range of imagery. Another thing about Momix, again, is the, is the transitions from one piece of music from Stravinsky to rock or rap or new age kind of thing. And it keeps moving along like the surreal vaudeville show. It's very fast-paced, almost circus-like. Surreal vaudeville could be another title to it. And uh, if you don't like it, uh, if you don't like the Momix show, you don't have to wait long before it changes on you. Maybe the more serious dance people come and see uh, an audience having a good time, they get very irritated. And they get very irritated with Momix that it's so popular, but I have no problem with that. They get irritated that they think it's not art. I have no problem with that either. And if it's not quite a purist dance experience, uh, I, I can see that it can bother some dance people. But I think a lot of it is, you know, they're bothered by the humor, you know, that people start laughing as if it's not art. I was born and raised on a farm in Vermont. If you didn't ski, I suppose you suffered from extreme rural insanity. You had to get out and embrace the cold. So I, I wanted to be a, a ski racer, actually, and I broke my leg later on in a downhill race and took the dance class to recuperate. And uh, as the story goes, I found my dance instructor a little more attractive than a ski coach. In fact, in, in the piece, uh, in the classic piece, we have a piece on skis. Speaking of another prop, we do a piece called Skiva, which is, uh, is a technique that I learned before I ever took a dance class. A lot of these... Uh, uh, the passions that you have outside the so-called dance world actually, you know, find themselves in, in the work. Well, you, the dancers all are very creative people. They're, it's part of the, the Momix experience is that people learn to, to be creative and that it's part of, the, of being a dancer, knowing how to phrase music, knowing how to uh, invent things. It's normal to be inventive and to be creative. It's like children. You have to, uh, you have to maintain that energy. better. <laughs> yeah, and go a little more nuts over here when you come here break apart control there. Yeah, you just get your buggy going right there before you before you kick back up. Yeah. Be a little wilder there. Just rolls I down. I see myself as a kind of catalyst for the choreography. If I can be of help this way. It's very tricky to get bring an actor uh, out and make them feel free and confident and uh, and uh, to find out who they are and then very subtly but carefully try to put it put the things that aren't quite right just outside the door without even letting them know about it. Uh, and some of them have to figure it out on their own bodies. We train that uh, right into the, it's part of the process. So it is very collaborative. We like to have a, uh, someone who is not, uh, has it, no problem be, being upside down or on all fours or doing classical ballet. No so it's fairly well, well rounded. You know, we're maybe a little looser than some dance companies in terms of, of taking on these uh, physical challenges. Give it to him. We're doing a piece called White Widow, which is music by Julie Cruz. And it's a wonderful ballet, really. It's done in point, in point shoe by Cynthia Quinn in a white dress. And yeah, it's like an homage to Markarova. It's uh, the, the rope. She uses a rope to suspend and keep in, kind of change her gravity. And it's almost as if the, the rope is a, a partner, the male partner. If there's anything I get politicized or politically agitated about is the attitude towards the body. And dance is supposed to be, um, is the body in, in its all its glory. And, and it's, it's very uh, positive. And I think young people should see it. A lot of it's the imagery. The, the, there was a piece called Venus Envy, which is a, is a good example. They're like starfish, naked legs, but they're a multiplicity of legs. So it's nude, but uh, it looks like a starfish. I mean, do you, do you want to cover it up? I don't think there's any shameful behavior. It's uh, playful, uh, you know, it's sensual, as it should be. I mean, God knows uh, that's probably the only place you can get titillated these days without any fear. 
I mean, it's interesting why you go to witness a dance, and you want to have some connection with the, the sensuality of the body. I think that's a very important part of our, our being, and we shouldn't, we shouldn't uh, repress it. I, I, that's my feeling.